Hi everyone, Vala Afshar, Chief Digital Evangelist at Salesforce, and I'm here at the Harman Expo at Consumer Electronics Show 2020, Las Vegas, and I'm about to show you uh, industry first breaking news regarding an integration of our customer success platform inside of a vehicle. The innovation solution is called Workforce on Wheels, and we're gonna showcase how we can increase productivity for sales, marketing, customer service professionals, and also deliver digital commerce from a car in the automotive industry. I'm here with Annie. Hello, Annie. Hi, how's it going? It's going great. I'm super excited. And you are going to be our expert solution architect showing us the capability. Absolutely. Can we go for a ride? Absolutely, right. come on in. Terrific. So we're gonna test drive this capability and we're entering uh, the future car with the future Harman smart cockpit. And we're gonna have Annie, all right, show us this incredible game-changing industry first capability. All right, Annie. Awesome to play the role of Holly. And um, how we know her, she's basically, you know, a sales representative. And what we're gonna do is select the profile. All right. So and we have a sales pro in our car. The average US adult has a 51 minute commute, daily commute. So imagine all that incredible lost opportunity to be productive when you're in a car. And ultimately, I think we all recognize that movement is the ultimate status symbol. So if we can be productive and get our jobs done on the go, that's what we want. Absolutely, nobody likes dead windshield time, right? <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> okay, so in this example, Maria, which is my supervisor, just teched me. So what we're gonna do is we're Morning gonna- Morning LA, it's good and bad news. The quotas are short this month, but the good news is I know you're the one to close some deals. We need something ASAP. Make me proud. Check in later. All right. So Maria, the boss, is telling you, let's help us get across the finish line. And uh, who hasn't got that message from a boss in the past? That's true. Absolutely. And the great thing is, with a change of plans, you can actually find your account on the fly. So what we're going to do is use voice to text. Show accounts near me. Here are several accounts close to you. Okay, this is incredibly important. Um, notice that we're only displaying three accounts. We've worked with design teams who care about the safety of the driver. We know that you can only look at about two seconds glance worth of insights. So what we try to do is leverage Einstein machine learning algorithms to sort and give the three accounts with the opportunities that in this case you see it's 120,000, 180,000, 150, with the highest probability to close. So we're actually looking at propensity to buy a number of other KPIs to determine these are the three most likely accounts for Annie to close. And then we use our mapping technology to show her where they are associated to where the car is at this current moment. So incredible use of machine learning to give you precision sales guidance using AI and machine learning. Annie, this is incredible. What do we do next? So now we're gonna take a look at Comtech Exec. So I'm going to go ahead and touch it, and then I'm gonna, as I'm driving, I'm going to ask it to tell me a little bit more. All right, so now we have from account to contact information. Brief me on Comtech Exec. Sorry, could you say that again? Brief me on Comtech Exec. Here is the info we found about Comtech. Okay, this is incredible. So we look at existing pipeline, opportunities, and open cases. So now Annie has insights about cases in the service organization. These cases could potentially impede her ability to close deals. So it's giving you a 360 view across sales, service, and marketing. You also see Sarah Lewis, Stephen Moore, and David Thompson. So through machine learning algorithms, we've identified the top three influencers within an account so we can make sure that the guiding sales process is precision. Annie right now is like a sales surgeon. She knows the most probability of closing 
cases, uh, accounts, and also the most influential contacts within an account. Now, why is this important? In a B2B sales cycle, on average, you have eight buying team members. There are eight decision makers. So it's very important for sales professionals to know which one of the eight potentially has the highest influence in, in terms of helping Annie close the deal. This is incredible. What's next? So next, we're actually going to contact Sarah. And keep in mind, we're doing all of this while I am actually driving to the account or driving in the area. So this is really exciting. Tell me more about Sarah Lewis. Here is the info we found about Sarah Lewis. Okay, how awesome is this? You now have combined structured and unstructured data. What we're showing Annie is recent activity for Sarah Lewis on social networks. One in five minutes on the web is on a social network. The most popular use of social uh, web is social networking. So it's important for sales professionals to understand the digital footprint of their stakeholders, prospects and customers. So now you have information that's stored within Salesforce and information outside of the CRM that gives you the full contextual intelligence around Sarah's behaviors, likes, dislikes. And if Sarah happens to write a blog or have a podcast or speak at an event, Annie now has all that information at her fingertip. This is incredible. What's next? We're going to ask Sarah for a meeting. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Text Sarah for a meeting. Your message says, Hi, Sarah. I'm in your area. Could we meet at 8 a.m.? Thanks. Shall I send it? You are looking at natural. Yes. Sorry, could you say that again? <laughs> that was my fault. And we can also touch <laughs> yes. the screen as well too. <laughs> I interrupted, but you, you can see the power of natural language processing here where you have- voice Sarah has confirmed the meeting. Would you like me to navigate to the meeting location? Yes. <laughs> Navigating to Comtech Exec. Okay, this is awesome. So you saw sales cloud integration, we have lightning workflow, we have Heroku, we have all this capability, we have map anything. So for those Salesforce, Salesforce experts, there's a combination of capabilities that create this magic. And the natural language processing where you have voice to text, this is how you're welcome to the world of ambient computing when you're in a car. And this is the dominant logic that we're challenging. We believe the car is your second screen. Your phone is your first, your car will be your second. And as cars become autonomous, multi-screen, it's possible that when you're on the go, the first screen is the car. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the meeting. What's next? Absolutely. So before we go to the meeting, let's get some coffee. You want to get some coffee? Oh, yeah. I want to celebrate this amazing <laughs> meeting. Yes, let's get coffee. Pick up coffee along route. Come on, it can't be that easy. We found the location nearby. Here is our recommendation. You're kidding me. So the car is smart enough to know your prior purchase history, recognizing Annie loves Starbucks. So this is mass personalization at scale. You're able to just say, get me coffee, and they know the store that you prefer and the type of coffee you want, which in this case is a small. I'll take a large, but for the demo, let's <laughs> stick with yours. And you have checkout. So with Samsung Pay, you can have digital commerce at your fingertips, all powered through your voice. How do we get the coffee? Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pay so we don't have to when we're going the drive through Awesome. Order ready in four to seven minutes. Head south. The telemetry and the map logic shows you exactly the route you need to take to Starbucks. It knew the preferences and the coffee you drank based on your prior CRM stored purchase history. And it knows the brands that, that you love and you buy from. So based on consent-based trusted marketplace, now your smart cockpit and your digital advisor can guide you to the best and favorite brands eliminating friction, reducing time, and really making sure Annie is fully caffeinated for this amazing <laughs> meeting that's gonna happen. Now, with this, you also have email templates you can use, you can assign tasks, you can update your calendar, incredible amount of work productivity that you will find that are voice enabled inside your car. And I know Annie, uh, you are a prior Salesforce user. Yes. What do you think of this demo and how, 
would this, would this have helped you when you were actually <laughs> doing selling prior Absolutely. to being this incredible demo expert? Absolutely. Now, for those people that are in the field, you probably have been on your phone doing this whole thing while you're driving unsafely. So to have this at my fingertips without having to open up my computer, without having to pull out my Samsung phone is huge. Um, being able to drive to my location, have everything, you know, just using that one button is incredible. That's amazing. So for those of you, you just saw first ever demonstration of workforce on wheels. Professionals can manage sales opportunities, marketing leads, service cases. All the information is in threes because we are mindful of the safety of the driver. So we're only giving you a glimpse of insight. And to do that, you need to lean into machine learning so you can score the highest marketing initiatives, the highest, most important service cases and sales opportunities. And we're also making this ambient computing come to life, taking advantage of natural language processing so you can speak, your voice to text is read back to you. So if you're gonna send that text and email, you can hear exactly the proper remarkable words you're gonna to use to become a trusted advisor. And most importantly, it's an opportunity for companies to create new business model innovation opportunities because being able to, in a consent-based, trusted, scalable way, do digital commerce in a car, that's a paradigm shift, that's a game changer. Today, only 16% of all commerce is digital. According to most experts, this will be 50% in the next 10 years. So companies that don't take advantage of voice-enabled digital commerce while they're on the go are absolutely missing out on incredible, convenient way to add more, uh, to give yourself that more time. <laughs> and that's <laughs> ultimately the most precious commodity we have. Annie, thank you so much. Closing remarks based on this incredible demo. I'm really excited about it, and I think this is gonna make everybody that is in the sales world, their life so much easier. So thank you, I'm really excited to use this. Awesome, thanks everyone for watching. If you wanna learn more, you can follow me on Twitter at Vala Afshar, just Google V-A-L-A and you'll find my account. You can follow Harman at H-A-R-A-M-A-N, Harman, and you can follow Salesforce at Salesforce on Twitter, and you'll see a lot more demonstrations throughout the week of this incredible capability. Thanks for watching everyone, really appreciate it. Bye-bye.